Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Matthew chapter 9 verse 7 as well as Joshua chapter 8 verse 6. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Father God for this word. Thank you for showing us the way. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, let's get started. This is Matthew chapter 9, verse 7. And he rose and went home. And this is the paralyzed man um, after Jesus had told him to go. And he was obedient. He went home, right? He rose and went home. And this is conflated today with Joshua chapter 8, verse 6 where it says, and they will come out after us until we have drawn them away from the city, for they will say they are fleeing from us just as before. So we will flee before them. And so this is actually more from the battle of AI. And so um, the cool thing about this conflation is just that, you know, there's a blessing in obedience, right? When you do what the Lord says, even when it can be, how should I put this? Um, Even when it can seem as if it is counterintuitive, right? It says, and they will come out after us until we have drawn them away from the city. When, When you're getting specific, instructions and they start becoming counterintuitive, you have to trust the process, right? There's a way that seems right into a man, but in the end, that way can lead until just into destruction. We know that, you know, uh, when, when you're drawing out the enemy, that's kind of counterintuitive, right? It doesn't seem like it could be the right way. Um, it, 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 it seems like, you know, that, that has to be wrong. I, I'm, I'm not going to agitate the enemy to come after me, but in this circumstance, that was what they were to do. And it says, until we have drawn them away from the city. So in, in situations like this, where the enemy is right behind you, right upon you, um, you just have to trust the process. It says, for they will say, they are fleeing from us just as before. So we will flee before them. And so um, that is how they drew the enemy out. And remember, then they surrounded them. They burned the city behind them and, and surrounded them. And they defeated AI, right? And so this is, um, let me just go back to the conflation scripture, Matthew chapter nine, verse seven, and he rose and went home and that was what he was told to do. Right. And so he did it and there's a blessing in doing what the Lord says, right? Um, he had just been healed, right? You want to maintain your healing. You want to maintain what God has blessed you with. Be obedient, Right. That is the way you maintain it. That is the way you keep walking in the spirit and and listening to the voice of God. Amen. All right. Um, So let's just go ahead and pray. Father God, thank you so much for this word. I thank you that regardless of whether we know or understand exactly what is going on or whether the directions are counterintuitive or or whether or not um, this is you um telling us to to go out and let the enemy come after us regardless of whether or not all those things are true we know you're with us we know you hold our hand we know that you see our circumstances and you are watching over us we love you we praise you and we thank you in jesus name we pray amen All right, you guys, if you prayed that prayer and you will, if you would like to receive Jesus as your savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day. Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. They are many. 
You are in control of my life. Sit on the throne of my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you pray that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you into the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he's never going to show you wrong. He's always going to do what it takes to get you into the will of the Father. Amen. All right. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you as children as peace. Take care.